this video, I'm gonna go over the forward leg round kick with a switch step. And I wanna cover how you can adjust your distance with the switch step, whether to get closer or to advance into your target or to retreat out, depending if you are a little jammed up. Okay, first of all, let me cover the basic switch step. So if you already learned this technique, as you know, I'm getting close to this bad guy, I wanna hit him really hard with my forward leg, but I wanna add the switch step to generate power. And I do that by taking the lead foot, moving it back, right before it hits the ground, the other foot comes forward, landing with the base foot turned sideways, knee bent, and this from this position, I can slam in a hard round kick. This becomes a powerful round kick because basically it's converting my forward leg into a back leg, thus I can kick really hard. But another side benefit of the switch step is it allows you to adjust your distancing on the fly, especially if you're trying to apply this or this kick on a moving target like when you're sparring. So first let me cover how you can close the gap or advance forward. So in this scenario, I'm a little too far away to throw the forward leg round kick. So as you see, I kick a little too far away. So if I do a normal step, I'm barely gonna touch it. So here's the key is that the first step that you take with the lead foot, make it a very small step backwards. So I'm only gonna go this far, not very far at all. Then right before I hit the ground, this foot goes closer to close the gap. Now I'm in range to land that round kick. So notice regular switch step, too far away. The foot moves back, small step backwards, and then this one goes much forward. This closes the gap, and I'm gonna land the kick. So one more time, if I wanna use a switch step to close the gap, think small step back, big step forward, and round kick. Now, we're gonna reverse this concept. What if I'm in too close? I'm at this jam of range, but you do try to switch step, I'm jammed up. Yeah, I could switch, fire a knee strike, but maybe I wanna land the kick when I create a little space between the two of us. So to accomplish this goal, we're gonna reverse this. Think the first foot, you're gonna take a, a big step back here. This will create distance between me and the target. And then the other foot, I either just land it in place, turn the foot over, or it's a very small step forward. Now, I'm in range to land the kick. So again, big step back, to create distance, small step forward, or no step at all. I'm just turning the foot in place and kick. So one more time. Big step, small step, kick. So I like to teach this to my level two students after they master the basic switch step, so that way they can learn to apply it when they're sparring, especially my more advanced students. I have them work on this a lot more. If you've learned the four leg ground kick with a switch step and you haven't tried this, play with this concept and you'll find that you'll be able to land your switch step ground kicks a lot more consistently, especially on a moving target when you're sparring. So I hope this helps. Add this to your training, and as always, thank you very much. See you next video.